All right, look at this, guys. So one of the main reasons we moved here was so that we could be in the savanna, the jungle, mesa, desert, river, all the all the biomes together, so that we could be close enough to all five that legendaries will spawn. Look at this. Tapu Lele, or Lili. One or the other <laughs> has just spawned outside our base here. I'm the only one online, so I get all the legendaries. Uh, I looked it up. Apparently, we want a timid nature on on it. Um, now there is a trick as well that uh, Nebra's kind of figured out. So apparently, like some of you guys noticed, like my synchronizers sometimes fainted and all that. That doesn't matter. Uh, every time you enter a battle with a fainted or non-fainted synchronizer, you have a 50% chance of having their nature uh, transfer over to the wild Pokemon. And apparently, if you do it multiple times in a row like this, <laughs> it works every single time. So I just like coin flipped eight to ten times here, whatever, whatever it's been. And we're like almost guaranteed to get a timid nature on this uh, Tapu Lele now, though. So that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't really grab our good team here. I didn't look up what this Pokemon has. So hopefully we don't get unlucky here with it killing itself or something. Psy Wave, okay. Can we just... Let's just waste a couple turns here to see what other moves it has. Draining Kiss. Okay, that's fine. So it might actually be a, be a bit of an annoying Pokemon. Oh, Astonish was the last move. Okay, so we're fine. We don't have to worry. Oh, now it's getting HP back. Hmm. Okay, it's back up to full. <laughs> uh, we might need to leave this battle and get more uh, False Swipers. And it has Astonish, so we can't use Shedinja. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, okay, that, that works for me. I'll take that. How did I lose it? Oh, right there, right? Tapu Lele. Timid Nature. Excellent. It worked. It's got uh, Psychic Surge. Turns the ground into Psychic Terrain when the Pokemon enters a battle. I think that boosts Psychic moves by 50%. And it'll... The Psychic Terrain lands, lasts for, I think, five turns or something. So it's it's a good move if you have Psychic moves like Psy Wave. All right. So once again, guys, we got lots of stuff to do here in today's episode. And, you know, I played more off camera than I probably should. So I got lots of stuff to show you as well. <laughs> Let's start off with, with this guy here, though. Have you ever seen a Tangela? This is like the perfect picture here. We got a Sandy Guest and a Tangela together. Two of the, the best-looking Pokemon in the game. I think Tangle is my favorite, though, actually. There's something about this guy. And he's even animated, too, like the, the fibers. Or whatever they are, the Tangles. Actually, like, bounce around and stuff. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to trade with Nebris eventually. Uh, he's got a Regenerator Tangela that I really want to get. That's, like, the best ability for it. And uh, he wants our Regenerator Toxapex, so we'll probably trade... Hidden abilities. Um, but uh, yeah, look at this. So this is one of the things I've worked on. It's uh, Chocolate Island up in the sky. So we are above a Jungle M, Jungle Mountain biome, which is a pretty rare biome. Hard to find. During the daytime, you can get Mews to spawn. So while working on this, we got another Mew. So we have three in total now. Two of these we need to harvest for Dittos or Mewtwo's. Which I was going to do today, but we already got legendaries, so maybe uh, maybe we'll save it for another day. <laughs> uh, right after we got that one Tapu Lele, another one spawned. Uh, and so I went for a Timid on one of them and Modest on the other. So kind of my idea with this spawning platform here is let's, let's set up a minecart in the middle to AFK when we're hatching eggs. And then... Like, we have a good chance of getting Mews to spawn, which give Dittos and Mewtwo's, which are both things we want lots of. <laughs> uh, Dittos, even if we don't need them ourselves, we can trade them to people. I just traded uh, Cisco Stew, I think, two Dittos and a Leftovers for two Destiny Knots. 
And I just got a Destiny Knot off of a boss, so we're up to eight now. We went from five to eight since last episode. And uh, what else? Um, there's also a lot of beach and river biomes on the edges around this place. And we need beaches to catch things like Poplio. It's the starter from Gen 7, the water one. So I, this is a guy I really wanted to get, and we finally got him. <laughs> uh, we also want to get a Litten, which I think will spawn up here. I haven't seen one yet, though. That's the fire starter from Gen 7. And the crazy thing is... Let's check this out. So one of the things, like whenever I play Minecraft alone or even when I'm on servers, I usually don't explore very much. And it turns out, like, we were right by this place. And I just had no idea. So, from this platform to our breeding base, guess how far away it, it was. And I didn't discover it until just now. <laughs> After being on the server for, for so long, you know. Our breeding base is right over there. So, it's not that far of a fly to get to it. To hatch some eggs in AFK, you know. So I figured, let's do it. Let's set up that platform. It's worth it. Because um, it's a rare biome, too. So it's it's kind of cool. It's right by our base. Uh-huh. Anyways. So we got that going on. And then something crazy just happened on the server here. So I'll show you that. You know? <laughs> I'm going to use the Master Ball on this. This is a very lucrative legendary that has spawned here. Reggie Rock only spawns in the Mesa, only during the daytime, and only underground. And we cleared out that huge area to get this guy, and he did not spawn in it. He spawned in a cave, and I almost was not able to find him here. I was about to give up. Uh, we want Impish, right? You go there. So, fun fact about this guy. Uh, he can learn Explosion, which kills himself. <laughs> and it's one of the first moves he learns, so there's a good chance he actually knows it. What we're going to do, we're going to try sync his, uh, his nature. And I don't think we're going to do anything else. We're just going to throw the Master Ball at him. Let's do it a few times here to make sure it happens. Because, again, every time we do this, there's a 50% chance it sets it. But, like, there's there's that slim chance, you know, it won't happen. Okay, now, not going to mess around. Like, if we take one turn using Transform to see what abilities he has, he might just explode on that turn. So I'm going to use a Master Ball. No risk. Lots of reward, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, we get an achievement for it and everything. Yeah, I think this might be the first one on the server, or one of the first. Oh, what did I just do? Wait a second. No. Oh, this guy's leveling up. Yeah, I'm trying to train up a Sandy Guest. I uh, don't want Astonish. Sand Attack, uh, we'll skip. Metal Claw, we'll skip. Cool! Very cool. So, did he get what we want? It's a small one. It's impish. It did learn. It did have explosion. Look at that. <laughs> so I think I made the right call on that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Glad I did that now. Because there was a 1 in 4 chance he used it. I think. Unless the, the AI is kind of smart and only does it when it's low on health or something. But I'm not sure if it does. Yeah, so look at this. It decided to spawn here. Even though... We go over a little bit. We got this big ravine area. We have all of this cleared out. <laughs> and it spawns up in a cave still. Oh, come on, right? Oh, I'm so happy I found it at least. Oh, what? what's going on here? A heat ran spawned. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I was just like, I was uh, editing the footage I just recorded of catching the Reggie Rock. Okay, I gotta look up what this guy's about. All right, we got him traced now with the modest ability, and we're going to go for our Gelade to get this guy. So it looks like he doesn't have anything that will really hurt himself. Uh, he's got a lot of moves that will trap us, though, so I think Fire Spin, yeah, that's one that will trap us. Cool. 
Um, let's go for false swipe. Getting trapped is actually really annoying <laughs> when you're trying to catch legendaries, because uh, like if you're not on your false swiper, you can't switch to it. I actually had one legendary that trapped me, and I couldn't. Uh, I didn't have any moves that d dealt damage, and it had no moves that dealt damage. I couldn't leave the fight, so eventually it just ended up struggling to death. <laughs> so you gotta be, you gotta be kind of careful. Um, ancient power. Ancient power can boost all his, uh, all his stats if he gets lucky. Then he's gonna dish out some real damage. But so far we're looking okay here. I think this is one of the Pokemon we can use heavy balls on that are really effective, so we might be able to catch this guy pretty easily, actually. He's a he's a chunky dude. So the heavier the guy is, the better heavy balls work. Okay, three three shakes though. Yeah, and he got the ten percent boost on everything. Okay. Let's keep tossing the heavy balls. With Arceus, or Arceus, we got him on the second try with the heavy ball. Second try with this guy, look at that. <laughs> nice. Cool. Uh, yeah, okay, let's check this out. We are gonna... I think that's the second one on the server, or third. It's another very lucrative one. We got the modest synchronize. It's got flash fire. And... Ancient Power Fire Spin, Earth Power, Magma Storms his signature move. The target becomes trapped with a maelstrom of maelstrom of fire that rages for four to five turns. Hundred power! Yikes. So it's like a super fire spin. Uh sure, we'll replace Growl. So we just killed a Mega uh Manetric. We got the orb for that. Dark Yum, okay. Oh, I'm not ready for you to grow up on me. Not yet. You can't leave the house. Uh, there's another guy over here. It's double, double bosses. I'm almost thinking like the spawn rate was increased on the server. I'm not sure. There's so many legendaries and bosses today. What are we going to get from this guy? Dragonium Z. Okay, that's... Dragonium Z, I mean. <laughs> uh, nothing super great there either. Although, like, getting this is good. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This Groudon looks pretty big. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Can I just, like, shut the server down? <laughs> No! After Groudon. <laughs> no! After Groudon. That's, that's a funny way of pronouncing Cosmog. Is beef on? A <laughs> funny way of pronouncing Cosmog. No. Uh huh. <laughs> You're not getting your Cosmog, Nepris. For real, though, like, actually, it's kind of ridiculous. Because it's not even, like, that much more. Like, it's not the rarest out of all of the legendaries. It's it's kind of silly. Oh, I need to oh. hang out with in Marsh Shadowland. Hmm, yeah. There's so many things that it's like, man, I should have abused this, but oh well. Now the fun police are here. <laughs> well, I got a lot of the legendaries I wanted, so I'm happy. <laughs> Groudon's actually really tough. Yeah. Uh, try a heavy ball. Oh, is he a heavy, heavy baller? Yeah. Nice. I like the heavy ballers. I mean, look at it. Yeah, yeah. Well, some, you know, they're pretty big and it doesn't work. Yeah. Like, they gotta be made of steel. Oh, maintenance! For five, <laughs> in five minutes, okay, I gotta get this guy quick. And then get a Cosmog, and then we re reset. Oh, I got it, I got it. Nice! Okay, server can reset now. No, I'm in midair. <laughs> reset? <laughs> or, <Can we> restart? <laughs> or, yeah, with the settings ch fixed again. Uh, it is adamant. It's only ordinary, man. That thing is huge. So have there been any legendaries since the incident? Nope. <laughs> Alright, so a little, a little bit of information about what just happened there. Uh, since we updated to Generation 7, like since that big patch... Oh. 
we've only been getting like maybe five legendaries on the server like all day and there's probably 10 people or so that play and like they're not on all day right so the chances of you actually getting one in a day were pretty low and a lot of times if you did get one it was a repeat of one you had already because there's some that are more common than others so basically last night they tried to change it so that the the rates would be a little bit higher and two zeros got mixed on the number i say mixed missed on the number <laughs> so uh we were getting legendary spotting a hundred times faster than what we wanted and there was a, a bit of fun on the server here today like as quick as i was catching one another one was spawning pretty much uh, where's reggie rock did we get that there it is um yeah, but there is a limit, like, they will they will not spawn faster than, like, within 10 minutes of each other. So that was, like, kind of what was happening. Every 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, a legendary was spawning all morning here. <laughs> uh, but it's finally been fixed, so it's all back to normal. There it is. Yeah, this one. Uh-huh, so I think we got five new legendaries. Although I got that Tapa one, uh, Tapu Lele, last night, like, before the change occurred. So that was a lit. Those were legit. But uh, all the ones today were kind of cheaty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was fun. Okay, so now that that chaos is over, we can get to some of the stuff I wanted to do here today. Uh, we're going to start off with this. So Beef has officially announced the next tournament now, so we can get started on it. Um, these are going to be three of our official eggs here. Three out of the six. So we're, we're supposed to get six eggs from, from Ditto's breeding together. And we're supposed to show them in our episodes what we get. And basically, the way this works is you can get random Pokemon from, from eggs when two dittos breed together. So we're going to get random Pokemon from these three eggs here. Uh, we got to hatch six and then pick four to use in the tournament. Uh, and then we can, like, throw away two of them that are, like, really bad that we don't want to use, basically. Um, so this is it. We're going to see what we get here. If it's an Ultra Beast, I have to get another egg, though. Uh, and legendaries don't spawn in the eggs. So we're probably just going to get random sort of trashy Pokemon. But we got to try make the best of a bad situation and put together the best team we can from the, the eggs we get here. <laughs> so it's kind of a fun tournament. It's like, it's like do what you can with what you get, you know. I, th I think it's going to be pretty fun. Um, and then we got to level them up to, I think, 50 and EV breed them and all that stuff as well. But yeah, I'm going to fly around here for a bit. It does take a while to hatch the eggs, and then we'll see what we get when they start hatching. Oh, there it is, the first one. I'm very sad about that one. <laughs> okay, uh, it's electric type. I think it's normal electric, if I'm not mistaken. It's not anything crazy, but it's okay. We, we might learn to love it. Uh, the other two have started to crack as well, but they're taking a lot longer than that bottom one. Okay, I tried to randomize... Oh, this might have been from the ginormous ditto, because he's enormous. Interesting. I tried to randomize the dittos as much as possible. Like, they don't have Everstones on or anything like that, so the natures are going to be totally random. And as well as the IVs are probably going to be below average, because my dittos kind of are terrible. <laughs> Let's check this one out. IVs five. Yikes! Oh, that hurts. That is that's a scary thing. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll learn to love it. I'm sure. Uh, man, I think it can learn Volt Switch though. Anything that learns Volt Switch is probably good, right? Man, it's been a long time since I just like flew around to hatch eggs. It's uh, it's pretty boring. <laughs> It's been uh, like 15 minutes here. I don't know what's up with these two. I'm thinking they might be Ultra Beasts because they are they are taking a very long time to hatch. We're either going to get something amazing or there's going to be an Ultra Beast and we're going to have to get more eggs and replace them because we're not allowed to use Ultra Beasts. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. So another thing about this uh, this tournament, though, we are allowed to evolve our Pokemon. So, we like if we get a Bulbasaur, we don't have to keep it as a Bulbasaur. We can we can evolve it into a Venusaur, and it'll be more powerful that way. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Timber and 
Oh man, I actually really like this guy. I've been thinking about breeding one up. <laughs> okay, this might not be terrible. So this is a fighting one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, fighting... I don't think it's really that good, but I'm gonna have to look him up. That's interesting, okay. It's probably not a terrible guy though. This one though is really good, if you use him right. So I'm happy about that. He's got Skull Bash, okay. <laughs> this is like a, a buff and sweep kind of guy. He's a bit risky to use, but he could be kind of fun. Powers up moves if they become critical hits. All right, I'm not I'm not disappointed. Maybe by this one a little bit, but overall not that bad of a a first hatching here. I'm going to have to wait for these eggs to finish and then we'll hatch up another batch of 3 here. Oh, I am getting very excited about this tournament now. <laughs> Okay, so I've been uh, I've been checking things out here while waiting for our eggs, and uh, we got some fun Pokemon here. Uh, Patchy, our first one, you know, we want to love him. It would be nice to love him, but uh, I'm not gonna trash him yet. But he's he's trash. <laughs> uh, it's like 400 stats max, and it doesn't evolve, and it's like uh, it's got one of the lowest attacks in the game, lowest attack and special attacks in the game. So it can't hit anything really it's just it's gonna come into battle and sit there basically the best thing we could probably do with him he is fast we could give it toxic and maybe volt switch and like poison someone and that's probably the most he's gonna do in a battle uh, we don't want to use him if possible we'll, we're gonna lean more towards these two timber apparently evolves into conkelder i didn't know that he is also one of the strongest Pokemon in the game on the attack stat. Unfortunately, both of our guys here got lowered attack, and that's kind of what they specialize in. This is actually the worst nature possible for this guy. So that kind of stinks, but he's so good that I don't think it's going to matter. I think we can make it work. Uh, apparently... Like, we can, we can build this guy a lot of different ways. We can give him Skull Bash, and there's an item that allows turns that take or moves that take two turns to occur in one so we could hit with 130 power and raise our defense all in the same turn if we give him i think it's like a mental herb or something is one option we could choice scarf him and make him really fast and then hit really hard he learns liquidation which is a hundred power water move he learns superpower which is 120 fighting move and he also learns, what was it? Stone Edge, which is a 100 power rock move. So two extremely powerful stab moves. He's going to be fun. <laughs> but I'm leaning towards giving him, he can also learn Shell Smash. So we might Shell Smash, and then there's, which boosts his attack and special attack by two stages, and his speed by two stages. So he turns into a, a really scary threat. He'll outspeed and and probably one shot a lot of things. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the best way to go. Is, uh, shell smash. And then there's an item that removes the debuffs that shell smash give. Uh, like it lowers his defense, but if we ha if we give him this item after we shell smash, his defense will return to normal. So we're we're gonna do some some crazy stuff with that guy. I'm sure. But anyways, our next... Uh, Ether, are you using your beacon at the moment? I am. Actually. Well, not at this very moment. Uh, I have extra, so maybe I can give him one. But yeah, we're going to we're gonna hatch our next uh, set of three here. We'll see what we get. None of them have cracks. That's a good sign. Um, and hopefully we get some something better than Apache to fill out the rest of our team. So we need four team members. We got... Uh, two pretty good options right now. Yeah, those those guys are cracked now. I think we're just about at the hatching point. Um, so I would really like to get a Steel Pokemon as well. That's like my dream. If we could get a Steel Pokemon or maybe even a Ghost Pokemon. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I would be very happy. That's my wish. It doesn't look like these are going to be Ultra Beasts. They're all cracking at the same time. And it doesn't feel as long as the last one. So they might not anything crazy either but we'll see we'll see i'm excited what are we gonna get what are we gonna get it's like opening a present you know 
Well, are they going to hatch anytime soon? We will see what we get, won't we? Oh, here we go. Ooh, we got a glitchy frillish. A, a boodoo. That turns into Rosalette, doesn't it? And Quagsire. Uh, I think you need the hidden ability to get unaware, don't you? Let's check this guy out. Docile. He's So he's going to be our ginormous crummy IV guy. <laughs> uh, oh, he's got water absorb. Okay, that's not a bad ability, actually. Restores HP if hit by a water type move, and I think it negates the water move as well. Okay. He's kind of like a not super strong guy. He's he's more of a tank, I think. Frillish is a Pokemon I really like. Look at him. He's beautiful. Uh, he also, I think, learns water absorb. Oh, he's got Curse Body. Okay, may disable the move used on the Pokemon. And I know it can learn Recover, so I'm I'm liking Frillish here. <laughs> Them stall tactics, you know? Uh, and this is not a bad one either, I, I believe. I'm going to have to look into it. Although I think, uh, I think we want Special Attack. It's got Poison Point. Contact with the Pokemon may poison the attacker. Okay, so we got some decent options here. I'm happy with the results. At least... I think I am, from what I can tell. Let's, uh, let's check out our guys here. There's a boss mob there. I'll, I'll get him in just a sec, though. The, the green ones don't really give anything we need anymore. Um, where's our guys? Where did I put them? I must have passed them. Oh, yeah, over here. Okay, so... You're not even in consideration. <laughs> I'm sorry, Patchy. You didn't you didn't make the cut. I'll, I'll tell you that already. Oh, you can sit on the bench on this one. Okay, uh, IVs. Let's do an IV check because I haven't done that yet. 41. He's got attack. That's what we want. Defense is always good. Okay. Special attack low. We don't care about that because he's not a special attacker. This one, Quagsire. Attack. I think he's an attacker. I think that's, like, so-so. Not not so bad. Oh, hey, we got something over 50%. That's that's cool. And that's one I'm thinking about using, so I like that. Uh, and then let's go for number five. Our Boodoo. Another 50. Okay. I don't know if those are good or not for it. And then 44. So very average overall. Um, what did Frillish have for ability? Careful, so he's defensive. I don't know if he's a special attacker. I'm going to have to check into him again. Uh huh. That's cool. Oh, hey, we got a Cyndaquil evolved. He's got Blaze. I'm looking for hidden abilities. That is not the hidden ability. Woohoo! <laughs> Look what we just got. A shiny Pat Rat. It almost looks like he has sunglasses on. That's so cool. <laughs> Are there any other nearby we can compare it to? Yeah, over here. So normally they got red eyes, I guess. And he's, he's got a darker coat. That's about it, I think. You know, I thought this day was so great already. I didn't think it could get any better. And then look who shows up. Litten, the cute little kitten, has spawned on our platform just like I wanted. <laughs> and uh, it didn't take that long, actually. So that's pretty cool. Came here to hatch a few eggs, and then he showed up, so. Oh, this th this guy doesn't have Thunder Wave and all that stuff yet. Okay, I gotta teach him that, apparently. We'll go to our Gallade. So, ideally, like, to really bring this guy to the next level, you want to get Intimidate on Litten. It's the hidden ability, and he's actually used in, like, the, the top-tier games of Pokemon. Like, he's... The hidden ability Litten is insane. Because it learns Fake Out and uh, U-Turn and a few other really good moves. Okay, what are we going to go for? Let's go for... Let's see if a Heavy Ball will work. Why not? We've, we've been getting good luck with the Heavy Balls today. Okay, one more try. One more try with the Heavy Ball. I know he's not a Heavy Baller, but he is pretty baller. Okay, he doesn't want it. He doesn't like it. <laughs> We're going to go for the dust ball. Uh, I love how this guy looks, though. He's pretty cool. It's a neat design. 
Okay, so is it hidden ability? I will lose my mind if it is. It's Blaze. Okay, it's normal. Not the, not the hidden one. But it's still good. I'm very happy with that. Very good, very good. So I guess maybe let's spend some time now actually putting together our team here for the tournament and talking some strategy and stuff. So, like, out of these guys, besides Patchy, of course, all five of these are either good or great, I would say. Like, they're above average. Unfortunately, on all... On four of them, we got the worst nature possible, pretty much. Like, we want special attack on Frillish. He got the debuff on that. We want special attack on Boodoo. We got the debuff on that. <laughs> and we want to attack on this guy, and we got the debuff on that. So that was a bit unlucky. That's going to balance out my OP team here a little bit. Um, bad bad IVs and all that stuff, too, but we don't really care about those as much. Um, so here's the thing, though. We rolled three water Pokemon. Quagsire, uh, this guy, he's water as well. And Frillish is a water Pokemon, water ghost. So we did get our ghost guy, at least. Um, so we can't have all three. We've got to pick two at most. And I think we're going to get rid of Quagsire. Even though Quagsire is actually not bad looking. Like, he, he's a ground Pokemon as well, so he can get a stab Earthquake. And Earthquake is one of the best moves in the game. Um, so that would be really nice. And I found out he learns Recover as well. But overall, he has a four times weakness to Grass, as does our bar Barbarical. Barbarical. Gonna have to get used to saying that name. Barbarical. And Frillish has a two times weakness to grass. So we have a lot of grass weakness on our team. We can't we can't go too crazy here with the water guys. So we're, we're gonna leave it at these four. Uh, Frillish, by the way, if you're wondering what it looks like, for some reason in this version, the new ones you get don't have a skin. They're invisible. But these are some I caught before the update. So there's a female one and a male one. And they evolve into Jalescent. I was actually planning on bringing these guys to the last tournament, but I used Melodic instead. Because I think it was a little bit better. But overall, this is a very good Pokemon. Kind of shy. There's his face. <laughs> he's, he's a big boy. Uh-huh. So, I guess let's start doing some stuff here. So, which one are we going to do first? Timber. Uh, apparently, we got Sheer Force, right? Yeah, so that's a good ability. It removes additional effects to increase move damage. I think that boosts damage, like, by a third or something. Um, like, if you have a move that causes flinching, it won't do the flinching, but you'll get a damage boost. But I couldn't see a lot of moves that this would really benefit from. But, uh, his other ability looks very good, very scary. I think we have three ability capsules. I think there's another one at my other base. But these are going to be very valuable. <laughs> We're going to change his ability using one of these to Guts. Now, Guts is a little bit more scary of a move. Boosts the attack stat if the Pokemon has a status condition. So if he's burned or poisoned or anything like that, he gains 50% attack damage. Ho! Oh. <laughs> and what we can do... Do I have any of them here? I think I do. Yeah, like we got lots. So we can give it a Toxic Orb or a Flame Orb or something like that. Not a Life Orb. Um, that'll burn him at the start of battle. We, we can just double check. I think it also boosts the power of Fire moves. I think he can learn Fire Punch. Although I'm not sure that's worth it. Oh, he's not burned. Or she. I think she's supposed to start burnt. Or maybe it's... Oh, it's after the first turn. Okay. So I'll have to keep that in mind. But after it gets burnt, or poisoned, or whatever, its att attack damage goes way up, and the burn doesn't... Like, if we go for burn, that doesn't cut damage in half if you have the Guts ability. So, like, normally burn reduces your damage in half, but not if you have Guts. So that would be really good, and this also means we can't get affected by status conditions like Toxic and that if uh, somebody tries to hit, uh, hit us with one of those. So I like that strategy. Um, let's see, what was I going to say? As far as our other guys here, this guy... Well, Frillish got the wrong one as well. A lot of our guys got the wrong ability, or not the one I want. 
Uh, so we're going to use the ability capsule on Frillish. We got Curse Body. So if we get hit by something, like maybe someone uses a grass move on us, this could disable it, and then we don't have to worry about another one. But overall, I think that's not that great. Water Absorb seems much better. So that is restores HP if hit by a water type move. So that's the same as Quagsire. Exact same move. Um, so now our Frillish will be immune to normal moves, fighting, and water. So three immunities built in. I like that. All right, so let's talk Boodoo now, because uh, our Boodoo is a bit interesting. Uh, normally, if you go for Roserade, which is what this guy turns into, it looks like you kind of want to go for Leaf Storm, which is a 130 power Leaf Stab move. 90% accuracy, it would be insane. Uh, could also learn Sleep Powder, which is a 75% accuracy chance of putting a guy to sleep. Boodoo, we won't be able to teach him either of those things, unfortunately, because they're both egg moves, so two of its best moves we can't get. It's impossible. <laughs> so rather than going on like full-on attacker with this guy, I think we're going to turn it into more of a defensive Pokemon. Um... So we're going to go for, like, Giga Drain instead, which is only 75 power, but it restores HP. Um, so we'll probably want to give it HP EVs and maybe Special Attack or Speed. But, uh, yeah, it evolves once it gets high enough happiness. So it's one of those 220 happiness guys. So we got to boost its happiness first off here, which we can do in a few ways. One way is by giving it Vitamins. Okay, that's boosting its EVs, right? Double check. Yeah, each of those gives 10 HP EVs, which really isn't much, but it also gives friendship. Our Boodoo has 237 happiness now. I fed it some berries to get some more some more happiness on it. And now, if we get into a battle, it should evolve, I'm pretty sure. Just need... Yeah, it's evolving. Excellent. Boodoo is going to evolve into Rosa something. Or a wall. <laughs> uh huh. It's hiding in the bushes. We can't see it. Okay, so this can evolve one more time after this. We have to use a shiny stone on it, though, when we want to do that. But first, we want to learn some moves on it. Okay, first decision here we can learn Stun Spore, which is a 75% accuracy paralyze, while Thunder Wave is a 90% accuracy paralyze. So that's much better. Uh, I don't think we want. I don't think we want to use this. We'll replace Water Sport, though, for now. Mega Drain. We want to get Giga Drain. That's that's the dream here. I think it learns it at level 25. So we're going to do some training now. And the way I like to do EV training, I know some people like to like make sure they kill the right Pokemon that gives the exact EVs they want. Uh, I tend to just kill everything and then remove what I don't want afterwards. I find that's a lot quicker. Uh, but for our Roserade, we want HP, and I think we're going to go for speed. Even though we're building it as like a tank, normally you would want defense, I think. But it's our fastest Pokemon as well, so we might end up using it as a revenge killer. Like if some, or like if, for example, someone uses Shell Smash, like we're planning on using, <laughs> uh, Roserade might be an answer to that. Like, we could switch into battle quickly and do a Giga Drain, and it'll probably kill the Shell Smash guy, because it'll be weak to Leaf moves. Oh yeah, and by the way, check this out. This is the hammer I used to use, and I thought it was pretty good. That's, that's pretty quick, right? It's a Sapphire Hammer, Efficiency 4. But then, guys, but then, something amazing happened. I made Ethor's hammer. <laughs> and now look at this. It's a flower. No, look at that. Look at the anvil. Isn't that insane? It's like so much faster. <laughs> it's actually almost fun to do this. It's so quick. Normally, this is like a big chore. Uh, crushing down your, your aluminum into the plates here. Uh-huh, so what we're going to do, I decided we should probably get a bit more organized with this, because I can easily make a mistake here if I level up a guy past the point I want to. Uh, he, he'll learn different moves depending if he's evolved or not, and I just want to make sure we get everything right here. So I wrote down the moves we want, or some ideas for what we want here. 
Uh, I wanted to try out the camera as well. That's kind of a cool thing in the game. So if you have a camera and you have film, apparently you can take a picture of your Pokemon and like put them in item frames and stuff. So this is our our shell smash guy. Let's try out the camera. Oh, like Pokemon Snap here. Oh, how do I zoom? Oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> nice butt shot. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it developed nicely. Okay, so this guy goes here. Okay, and Frillish is probably not going to develop, if I was to guess. But we'll see. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right, Frillish goes over here. And Timber. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Roserade, first off. I'm not sure what item to use exactly. I'm thinking maybe Leftovers would be good. Maybe Choice Specs to boost special attack, so Giga Drain will work better. Uh, another option would be Big Roots, which would make Giga Drain recover more HP when we use it. Problem with using like Choice Specs is it locks us into a move until we switch out, so we wouldn't be able to like Sludge Bomb and then Synthesis, for example. We would have to switch out. We couldn't change up our moves, which would be kind of annoying. So I don't think Choice Anything is the way to go with this. Although a Choice Scarf would be nice as well for speed. Ah, but yeah, I'm thinking Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Toxic, Synthesis is a recovery move. It, it increases HP by 50%, so that would be nice. Uh, then for... This is pretty straightforward. It's going to be more of a defensive guy. If he can, he'll throw Toxic out to slowly whittle our opponents down. Although maybe having Sludge Bomb and Toxic is a bit dumb. You can also learn Toxic Spikes. Maybe we'll go with that instead. I don't think you can learn Stealth Rock, so... Uh, this guy... Ideally, we would like to use, I think, a White Herb. White Herb. Uh, so that when we Shell Smash, he doesn't get the defense drop. But apparently, that's like almost impossible to find in the game, so... I think we'll either go for a Focus Sash, which means if he's at full HP and he takes a hit, he won't get uh, he won't get killed. He'll he'll just go down to one HP. So that means there's a good chance we can get our Shell Smash off, even if someone critical hits us and should kill us. We'll still have one HP for the next turn, and he'll be attack boosted and speed boosted. So then we can start sweeping. Um, so that's probably the smartest choice. I only have one of these, though, and we'll probably need four or five for the tournament. Depend if we make it to the end, I mean. <laughs> like, th they're usually four rounds or five rounds, so this gets used up every time, every battle. It's kind of a pain. And, uh, by the way, with this, like, we're not committing to anything today. I want to get your guys' feedback, which is why I'm kind of laying this out so we can get an idea of what I'm planning and like if I'm using a wrong item or I have a bad strategy here uh, let me know in the comments because <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna read the comments before I commit to anything here so this is like planning today okay so this is the move pool we'll either go with on this guy either this one or this one the only difference is liquidation or cross chop cross chop is a fighting move liquidation is a water move uh, but it's also a stab move. All the ones with the star are stab moves, so they get a 1.5 times damage boost. So Stone Edge, for example, is kind of like a 150 uh, power move, while Earthquake's always going to be a 100 kind of thing. Um, here's the thing with this guy, which is kind of interesting. So I wanted to use Tough Claws on him, which boosts all, all contact moves by 1.3 times. So, like, Liquidation's a contact move, so that would get boosted by 1.3 times. So it'd be 100 and something, actually. Uh, the thing is, Stone Edge is not a contact move, Earthquake is not a contact move, and I want to use both of those. While Cross Chop and Stone Edge both have increased critical chance, it's 1, 1 out of 8 instead of 1 out of 16 like normal. And this other ability, Sniper, powers up moves if they become critical hits. So we have a 1 out of 8 chance of getting a critical hit. And if we do, they will do 2.25 times the damage instead of the normal 1.5 times damage. So it's like a risk 
risky chance, but if it if it happens, <laughs> we're pretty much guaranteed a kill because it's going to be so strong. So I'm almost thinking we go with this one. Also, liquidation's a move tutor move, and like we've been having a hard time finding move tutors on the server, so we might not be able to find this move even. While these ones, cross chop is by level up, and I think earthquake and stone edge are TMs, so we can like guarantee make that happen if we go with it. This guy is very interesting, actually. So I th I'm thinking we're going to go with Facade. That's a normal move. Uh, that's normally 70 power. But if if the guy is affected by burn or some other status condition, then it gets twice as powerful. So it's like a 140 power move. And it I think our Guts ability also stacks with it. <laughs> so it's like a 210 power move after Guts and the, the bonus. So that might be pretty fun. That's like our go-to move if we don't have anything super effective. Normal moves are like good against everything except Ghost. Uh, knock Off is good for removing items in case we're up against... Uh, what's it called? Evo Lights? These things here. Yeah, those can be really tricky to deal with if anybody has one. So we would want to knock it off. If we knock something off, this goes gets a 1.5 times damage boost for that one turn. So that's actually a pretty strong move. Uh, dark move, Earthquake is ground, 100 damage. And Drain Punch would be a stab move. Uh, any damage we do with this, we recover half as HP. So that's a way to recover could also go for superpower which is 120 power move but then we don't have recovery might be smarter <laughs> i don't know either more damage or or the safer bet here um yeah anyways the other thing we're like almost guaranteed to use a flame orb though i'm pretty sure our frillish is a bit of a weird idea here i have uh, I'm thinking we go with Water Spout. That's like a special move to Frillish, which is 150 power, a 100% accuracy move, which is almost unheard of in the game. The only catch is our guy has to have full HP to do the full 150 power. Uh, it takes our HP and like any any we're missing reduces the damage of this. So ideally, we want to make sure we hit first. So I'm thinking we use a Choice Scarf to ensure we're at full health when we hit with this and it'll do a lot of damage uh, we have ice beam for coverage because like we're weak against grass and ice beam kind of covers us against that will-o-wisp is a good thing in case like somebody shell smashes or runs away with some damage boosts this will cut their damage in half and also slowly kill them and recover kind of pairs nicely with water spout because like if we take a bit of damage and we recover, then this will do the full 150 again. Um, but maybe using a choice item is bad because then we can't do like water spout then recover. We'd have to switch out. I'm not sure. The other issue is water spout can only be learned after level 50, and this is a level 50 tournament. But we might be making it so that uh, in the battle rules we set it to 50. So if we're above or we're below, it doesn't matter. We'll get we'll get uh, changed to 50, and we'll still be valid for the tournament. So I'm, I'm waiting for clarification on that. <laughs> if we can't use Water Spout, we'll probably go for this set instead. Scald, Ice Beam, Toxic, Recover is my plan, and then not use the Choice Scarf for sure. Uh huh. Anyways, let me let me know if you guys got feedback. We got a lot of the TMs we need already to do this. So we're almost ready. I just got to level them up and EV train them. And yeah, that is the plan. But anyways, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. I've been blabbing on here for a while, but I'm very excited about this tournament. I think it's going to be fun. So hopefully you enjoyed today's episode, everybody. Until next time, take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.